Hey guys, so this is from 7-11-24 and it's called Divided Water. When the water splits, it will be the sea of divided people. My holy water will flow to those who thirst. The chasm between the waters will be vast. The water of the two types of people will be vastly different. Out of one will flow holy water. Those filled with my words will have been drinking from the holy fountain. They will know their king by the words they speak and the holiness that flows from them. Uh, the others who lack the holy water will be filled with bitter water. It will also flow from them bitter. Those with the Mara water will be filled with the carnal and from them will flow anger, bitterness, disdain, hate, and unkindness. Their waters will boil over. Flames of bitterness will burn off of them. One hot and unsafe, undrinkable, the others with holy water will be like a drink from a cool stream after a long walk, refreshing and quenching. The contrast will be astounding. Drink of my living word. Know my son. Hear him. Be the refreshing water. The divide is near. Do not be deceived. The truth of who has loved my son will be public. The truth of who knows my son by exposure to the word will be public. All will see the divided waters. Moses turned bitter water sweet in my power. The Bible turns those who would be bitter to refreshing. Heed the call. Be transformed by the words of Jesus. He is my son. I am the Lord God Almighty. He is Jesus, the Christ, the one and only Messiah. He came to share my words with the world. If you love him, you love me. If you obey his words, you obey me. What is to come will show to all who is bitter water and who is refreshing water. Do not be found in shame by being found wanting. Read the words in red like a thirsty man. Drink it up, soak it in. His words are like a waterfall off a high mountain. When the water reaches the river below, change happens. The entire river moves because of the waterfall. Be moved. Moving water helps cleanse and feeds the nearby lands. Be cleansed and pure and feed those around you. Be refreshing. Be changed and readied for the great divide. Only the pure in heart will not be bitter water. Come to me and be given joy. Be sweet and refreshing water. Be found worthy, not wanting. The obedient will be refreshing water. And here are some verses. Psalm 78, 13 to 16. He divided the sea and he led them through. He made the water stand up like a wall. He guided them with the cloud by day and with light from the fire all night. He split the rocks in the wilderness and gave them water as abundant as the seas. He brought streams out of a rocky crag and made water flow down like rivers. Exodus fifteen twenty three to 25 Now when they came to Mara, they could not drink the waters of Mara, for they were bitter. Therefore the name of it was called Mara. And the people complained against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? So he cried out to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree. And when he cast it in the waters, the waters were made sweet. Revelation twenty two seventeen, And the Spirit and the bride say, Come, and let him who hears say, Come, and let him who thirsts come. Whoever desires, let him take the water of life freely. John seven thirty seven to 9 on the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. But this he spoke concerning the Spirit, whom those believing in him would receive, for the Holy Spirit was not yet given, but because Jesus was not yet glorified. 
John 4, 14. But whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst, but the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. Matthew 5, 6. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Luke 9, 26. For whoever is ashamed of me and my words, of him the Son of Man will be ashamed when he comes in his own glory and his Father's and of the holy angels. Romans 9.33, as it is written, Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone and a rock of offense, and whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. So I hope you find that interesting and uh, encouraging, and I'll see you next time.